Well, 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 it sounds like that ghost is out there. However, I am a little disappointed. I do believe I heard somebody say that was an echo. No, 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 folks, I can reassure you that is not an echo. Why we pay that ghost twenty-seven fifty a day to sit out there in that valley and blow that whistle back at us? That makes her the highest paid employee on the railroad. Nobody's seen that ghost, however, but somebody manages to keep cashing those paychecks every two weeks. Speaking of ghosts, Carpenter's Graveyard is next. Anybody for the graveyard? The the Folks, just one final reminder. We are not letting anybody off here at Lemon Place Junction as a safety concern for all the operations going on down here with 611 and 475.
We're very happy to have you with us today to enjoy old fashioned steamer riding here on the road to paradise. But what about the passenger equipment you are riding in today? We try to restore our equipment to its original condition, but in all cases we try to keep it accurate to the period 1910 to 1930. The cars were used on a variety of eastern railroads in central Pennsylvania and in northern New England, including the Boston and Maine, the Philadelphia and Reading, the Western Maryland, and the Baltimore Ohio Railroad Line. They are made of solid oak and mahogany.